Okay, let's talk about your prompt formula. How you can make a better prompt to get a better result or better out from output from chat GPT or GPT model. So let's first talk about the structure of that prompt. Uh, so according to me, you can break prompt into four structure, which is your role, then your goal, then your context, and then your ABA. What is ABA? You're confused. I will explain everything in detail, obviously. But first, let's talk about the role. So what is role? As I like stated in a previous video, an example to make me suggest a medicine for so and so illness or disease. So if let's say we will take that example and let's say we go ahead and say, okay, give me a list uh, or write me a story. Let's go with that because, okay, it's not wise to uh, tell people to go ahead and ask for medical recommendation from a GPT model. So we will go ahead and let's say, take a good example. Let's say we will say, okay, write me a story that is very weak and uh, GPT would write you a story obviously because you have given the prompt to write a story but it is not optimized prompt it is not a good prompt you will get an output but what you got may or may not be there if your goal is to get any sort of story like any story you don't uh, care what story it is how it is formatted what uh, are the elements which you should or you want uh, in that story or there should be that element in that story uh, then okay you will get a story which is vague as s but let's say if you want a story about certain thing in a certain genre uh, about a certain place so how will you do that so for that, you have to first define a role to a GPT prompt. If I have to give a prompt to GPT to write me a story, I would go ahead and define a role to a GPT. I would go ahead and say, okay, you are a world leading story writer or author. This statement actually defines a role to GPT. So now GPT will behave like a story writer or if let's say you want a GPT to be a musician, just go ahead and define that role. You are a musician. Let's say you want GPT to be your professor of uh, let's say science, go ahead and define that role. You are a science professor for 12th grade, for 11th grade, for your college. Uh, it, all, it is on your requirement. So this one line defies a role to GPT. Okay, now let's talk about the context part of it. So what is the context part of it? Because we keep on saying that the context is important in GPT. So what is the context part of it? So by context, we mean that we have to define a certain target we have to define tier 7 we have to define a format we have to define an example we have to define output template and we have to define a task split what are all this and how we can form a good crowd around it we will uh, uh, learn about it in a future video but for this video the major takeaway is that define a role to your GPT via prompt. Let's say you want to be a YouTuber. Just define that role. You are a YouTuber. And then write your prompt. So there's that. And we will keep on learning about prompt and how to define a prompt, how to structure a form, prompt uh, in further videos. And uh, yeah, we will talk about context, how to define a target, how to define your DSL in future videos. Till then, I will see you in a bit. Peace and subscribe.